Hi there, it's Sandy from Soaring Through Second, and I'm going to share with you today some Google Forms tips and tricks that will help you out um, for back to school time. I'm going to show you how to organize the information once you have it, um, how to share it with your colleagues, and how to color code it to kind of make your life a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pull up my drive. Um, this is where all of my documents and my forms and my sp spreadsheets are housed. Um, I did a tutorial about a week ago on how to create a Google Doc that parents can fill out for back to school night or for back to school time and this is what it looked like so hopefully by now you've had a chance to create um, your own form I um, now if I close this in my drive right next to my back to school form that I have parents fill out I have my responses and Google will automatically generate this spreadsheet for you so you don't have to do anything so ideally, your parents have gone to your form, you've directed them there, either with a QR code or with the URL, and you've shared that form with them, and they've gone in, and they've filled out all of the information, and now you have all of that information stored here. So I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do once you have this information in here to kind of make your life a little bit easier. And don't worry if a student or a family wasn't able to fill out the form, or they you had to send home a paper form, something like that, you can always go ahead and manually add in any, um, any information that you need to. So if you're missing a student, you can go ahead and add that in. You can add all of their information in here as well. So um, the first thing that I, I should have mentioned too in my last tutorial is I like to spread this out um, by student's first name and student's last name. That way you can organize these things either by their first or last name. I know I, I like to give my kids all a number, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to organize. I like to give them a number by their last name. So I'm just going to click the little arrow next to the, um, in that column, and I'm going to go down and I'm going to sort the sheet from A to Z. And what that does is it puts all of my students in alphabetical order from a to Z. And I love this too because I was worried at first that it would just format this column and put this column in alphabetical order, but it keeps everything else in all of the columns intact. So it's all going to stay together. So that's an awesome thing. You could organize it by their first name too if you wanted to. Um, you can go backwards, forwards, whatever you want to do, but that's a great way um, and it will save you a little bit of time there. Um, another thing that I like to do um, is share this document so all of my teammates, my second grade teammates, have access to this um, to this form. So they, if for some reason, like we do a lot of rotating kids, and um, so if there were ever an emergency or there were students in my class that happened to be in another classroom at a time and that teacher needed to access their information, they have this available to them. So to share it, all you do is you go to the right, the share button in the top right hand corner. You just type in the email address of the person that you want to share it with. So I would type in my colleagues' names. And then um, you can put a little note like, you know, here's my class list for the year. And it'll update to they have access as I, um, if I ever you know, lose a, a child, if the child moves, or if I get a new student, I just add them right back on there, and it updates for all of my colleagues, too. Whenever they access it, they'll see um, all of the changes in there. You want to be careful, though, um, when you're sharing any document or any form or any spreadsheet, um, you want to think about the settings that you have. So you, my colleagues, can can they edit it? Do I want them to be able to comment on it, or can they just view it? I usually put it on can view. That way, if they go in there, they're not going to be able to make any changes. Only I can do that. But they'll be able to see the changes that I make, and they'll be able to see my um, all of my students' information in case they need it. And then you would just press send. Um, you can also share this too with your principal or your secretary, so that way they have all of this information and it's it's all in real time. So that's a very helpful tip. And then the last thing is, and I just learned this this year, and it was it's awesome. So I can go ahead and I can color code some of these um, some of these columns. So I always like to ask for cell phone numbers and then I am a texter. So sometimes it's easier for me to text parents, especially, you know, when I'm at home and, you know, I need to get in touch with a parent a little bit quicker than email or whatever. So 
Oh, and you might notice too. So I have mom's cell phone number and then mom's work number. I want to know if it's okay to text mom. And for some reason, this, this column, I want it to be right next to mom's cell phone number. So I want to be able to see, is it okay to text mom? Since this is not in the right spot, I'm just going to pick it up and I'm going to move it. No big deal. So now I have, um, let's see, Susie Jones. I have her address. I have her mom's name, Carol. I have mom's cell phone number. And mom says, no, it's not okay to text. So I want to format this so I can see who does not want me to text them, just so I can visually see it. So if I highlight the column, I know it's highlighted because it's blue, and then I go to format, um, and then I'm going to go to conditional formatting. And what I want to do is I want to format the cell if it has a certain, you can see all of these choices here, um, but right now for this purpose, I want it to I want to know if it contains the word no, I want it to stand out to me. And I'm going to put, I'm going to do red because red kind of means no, stop, don't text this parent. So I'll click done. And I can also add a new rule. So maybe I want to see green if it's okay to text. So text contains the word yes. And green means go, so I can text them. And then I'll click done. And when I close this out, now my column is formatted so I can easily, quickly see, okay, so Susie, Linda, Kelly, and Jennifer. Uh, I do not want to text their, their parents. So it's just a quick, easy, visual way to see things um, easily. So um, I hope that this information and these little tips help you. Um, you can definitely use them in all different areas, but hopefully um, this specifically will help you get ready for back to school. And you can go ahead and visit my blog, soaringthroughsecond.blogspot.com for um, a written tutorial if you need to print this out and visually see it. So have a great day. Thanks.